Good morning, boss. Good morning. So we... It's Saturday. Yeah, the boss has got me going out to work on a Saturday. But it's like the beginning of the season. You guys know how spring madness is. Yeah, and what we're going to do today or start today um, is one that Rachel gave a quote a while back and we never heard from the lady. <laughs> Um, and then after we got all these other projects scheduled, she got back to us and said, can you do my cleanup? And Rachel, we had no idea we were doing it because she didn't approve it in job or right. so. And normally, that must have been somebody we know. Um, normally in a situation like that, I then would have to say, well, the project is going to have to be requoted depending on materials, blah, blah, blah. But this is just a clean up yeah. um, to get going for the season. And she was a referral um, and is in our route. But you know, Rachel added mowing every two weeks, which stinks, but it is what it is. Well, and, and it might not even be that because when you guys um, oh, yeah. see it. It's not much at all. Yeah, it might not even be that. And then, um, you know, she actually may do it at times or, you know, whoever. But it's so. right near the post office where we got to go to check the post office for the business. Yeah. So Rachel figured why not. But we're not mowing. There's no more adding mowing accounts anymore. Mm -hmm. No, no, we're done. Yeah. I We've actually had a couple people ask us since then. And um, we weren't sure that we were even adding those two that we did this season. But... You know, they're really people that we can't say no to, so no big deal. Uh, we did actually give a client away just because, like, she just started to... She was a little out of our route a little bit. And there's a lot of traffic over there in that area yeah. to get to it. And, it and just, it's one that we could just bleed off. She only was mowing, and yeah. we gave her a good heads up, referred her, referred her to a good friend of ours... She was actually one that if she would have gotten back to me in January, like I wanted her to, um, we may have even taken her on again this year, but I gave her a mulch quote, quote in January to try to get her on the schedule early before the rush. And, um, she didn't go with it and it severely needs it. It hasn't been done in years. Yeah. No pruning has been done. So at that point we just, you know, do what's best for our route. Yes. And um, passed her on to a friend who just likes to mow. So, so hopefully. No big deal. Yeah, hopefully right? she's good to him because. She um, was a slow payer, but we yeah. still, I called it my savings account. Yeah, Rachel, she always paid. Yeah, but she always I mean, paid and we, we were never stiffed on any money. No. And I mean, nice lady, you know, you, so you just weigh it, you know, you have to get to know the client and you guys have to work together. Yeah. So, so we're going to go do this cleanup. I'll show you a before of it and then I'll show you during, I mean, I'll show you before and after we're done today because we're going to have to go back there to fertilize some plants and do probably some more pruning yeah. on there. We're just going to get all the leaves and stuff. We're probably not going to prune much. We're not going to clean up the, um, what are The they? hostas. She's got like a huge patch of hosta too and um we're not going to touch that yet because we're supposed to dip below freezing yeah and, all the way down to 25 yeah so. and i don't want to clean up that debris that's keeping it nice and warm and then have it peak <clears throat> and burn the leaves i just don't want to deal with that so we're just going to leave it until um the freeze is gone a little bit more but then after that we'll continue probably in the monday finishing that mulch job and a couple little things yeah but that's how we're gonna do videos this year we told you now this property is actually a lot of hand stuff like um the way that we're cleaning it up is like well you'll see we'll explain when we get there but we're gonna you know clip out any pop-up uh weed trees that popped up you know just kind of nip a few things to try to get them to grow a little bushier and not so leggy lot of shade yeah so. some things probably shouldn't have been planted where they were but right okay but let's get over there and get this done let's go okay quick little walk through we're blowing all the leaves out in this one doing a leaf cleanup um i really think we should remove some of this tansy it's just gonna keep growing more and more yeah they probably put it there 
but we're gonna blow all this out, all this out over here. We're gonna start in the back with me blowing in the back. We only have the truck, so we're gonna blow all these leaves, all this out of the beds, into the back, blow everything out into the middle of the yard, tarp it up, and then clean it all up. Some of the stuff that doesn't look too good. Like, look, these trees should not have been planted here. No sun. I mean, they're overtaken by these big ones, but it's okay. Um, hostas. Where's the hosta bed? Those are hellebores. I think the hostas are all over here, so we're not going to mess with the hostas. So let me see. Okay, and I'll get you in after. It's not too much, just a lot of leaves. Okay, as you can see, Rachel didn't do really much in the front while I was out working all in the back by myself. Okay, I actually got, like, it, there's no leaves cleaned up. I didn't clean up the leaves, but I got a lot of the... She got a whole bunch of debris cut out. And I actually did um, the gold mop up to, like, I can only reach a certain height. So, I think if we just tip those tops at the top, it's fine. We want to keep that bigger. I don't know about this, man. I just cleaned it up underneath. It's probably not planted in the right spot. Yeah, so we got a whole truck full. I ended up getting, I'll show you. Yeah, there's a big difference getting all the leaves up. There. Oh yeah, all the leaves cleaned up out here, all the way through the back. So we are here an hour and 15 minutes. So that's a total of two hours and 30 minutes altogether. Um, we will be back. We have debris to get, some stuff to cut up in here. Um, and I blew all this out all the way to here where the hostas are. Yeah. And then when we come back next week, we have to oh, mow. Oh, yeah, look at them all peeking. Yeah, we have to mow this week's up here. So we'll have the trailer. We can probably load a little more debris. Yeah. We'll probably swing by in here and blow all this. So we're going to all, all, all that stuff along the fence, right? Yeah, here. yeah. All these weed trees and stuff growing along the fence. So probably about... Maybe one more trip in here to clean everything up. Okay, another tree ID, if you guys can help us. Oh, here I we think go. it's some type of river birch or birch tree. But maybe, I, like again, we're not experts, so. Yeah, I don't know. It's growing. Here's the leaf pattern it has on it, guys. And it kind of grows in a big cluster and comes up. And shades out over here. We're not sure where it, is. it doesn't look like your typical river birch. Or, it's got the barky that's or shading. Service berry? Could it be a service berry? I don't know. Somebody let us know. This is Yeah. This is help Carl and Rachel videos now. Yeah. Identify things. We know some I'm not good with trees. Ornamental trees we are, but I know, and I'm like really surprised that that's some type of magnolia in our front yard, but And right here. These are Leland cypresses, yeah. and the client was asking us why well, they didn't look too good at all. Um, they don't have a fungus that we see. Um, the problem with these are is, as you can see back here, the sun is right here, and it sets over there. So once all these trees fill in with their leaves, these Leland cypress get no full sun yeah, at all. Yeah, well, like, give us some advice on this, too, because it does seem to be dying from the inside out, which is very strange. Yeah, but if you didn't get enough light, you'd die from the inside out, too, yeah. wouldn't you? I mean, they're super leggy. They're yeah. not supposed to be this Well, way. look, yeah. so if you're a homeowner and you're planting, if you're a landscaper and you're planting, you should know this. But any tag will tell you... And if you look, six hours plus of full, and it says direct sun. So you should be planting these in direct sun. Okay, so these are a Carolina Sapphire Cypress, not a Leland. Okay. So they, it says six plus hours direct sun. Right. So they would be a lot bigger. They're not going to grow to their full potential here. Oh, but, I mean, they're not are, too bad. These are two different varieties. Well, this is a Leland. Yeah, I think. these are Leland's. So and Leland's good. pretty much the same. They should get a lot of sun. Same thing with these here. Hemlocks. These hemlocks don't get enough sun neither. I know. So if we could have some advice to try to save them. 
I don't know what what you do with hemlocks to try to save them. I mean, definitely cut the dead off. We should yeah. do that. Hemlocks are do really bad here. Yeah. They shouldn't be planted here. I mean, they're not. They're kind of nice. They're they're fuller than any other ones that we have seen. But any hemlock we've come across, a lot of problems with them. They're like they they're not grown in full. They're like they yeah, lose a lot of limbs. Like Remember when we were over at the Wilcoxes? Yeah. They were all the same. See the tops of them? Doesn't help that this tree's here, but. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. And these are hellebores, Latin flower. Yeah. Pretty, right? Yeah, really pretty. Those definitely are growing in the right spot. Yeah, they get shade. They're growing in the right spot. They they love it. And there's just burning bushes all throughout. Not burning bushes, uh, Nandino. Yeah, all throughout here. Like just popping up in certain areas. Which is kind of strange too, right? Yeah. Leggy because it doesn't get enough sun. Mm hmm. Okay, we're done for the day. Yeah, pretty we, little backyard there. Yep, we will see you guys on Monday when we go to finish the mulch and do a couple little odd things. To get it fixed. To get a new windshield? How want you guys to see yeah, this? Yeah, man, I always keep pushing it along. Always a pretty view this way. That's the city of Asheville you see out there. Yeah. Look, the red buds are blooming. That's where we bought our first riding mower when we started our business. I know, isn't that funny? Aaron's Rento Center, they have them all out front there. One of the Husqvarna ones, right? Or, yeah. Uh, yeah. So no shame for anybody who's using a riding mower and can't get a um, stand on or a commercial mower right now. We did it for years. Yeah, we did it for years. You just work with what you can, can get. And then we even got our first um, commercial mower and it ended up being like a dud. I'm sure you guys have, if you've been watching us for any amount of time, you've heard us. And yes, it was a Ferris. It was a Ferris. It was a lemon and Ferris made it right, gave us our money back. But then going into winter, um, obviously we needed to use that because we were only a couple years into business. And then going back into the spring, we didn't actually have enough to put down on a commercial mower again. So we ended up going with another Husqvarna riding mower that year. And that was from just a box store. Yeah. We ended up doing that. Just buying it outright. And then I think it was like another year later that you ended up buying your walk behind. And then obviously in 2018, we added the Beast and the 36 Dander, and we love Ferris. We've been, like we said, we've been dealing with them since what, 2012, 13? Yeah, I think so. Pretty, pretty, uh, maybe 2000. Oh yeah, it might've been 15, 2015. 16. Yeah, 2000, yeah, it might've been 2015. 2015 is when you bought it, and then 2016 we ended up buying the other yeah because you even gave rich or you gave our landlord the old yeah Husqvarna. Husqvarna riding mower when we ended up getting the ferris so okay guys we're headed back home and we will see you monday good afternoon boss good afternoon i'm rachel and i'm carl and you're watching happy lawn care landscaping and we're mowing today today we're mowing yeah we have our big one to mow first time for the big one right yeah i can't wait to see the after grass looks really good even though we had oh boy the last couple of days like three days we were down to 24 26 and 28 yeah and this weekend we're supposed to get cold too to, so to be honest with you we're really not doing that much mowing yet um but he was saying that the fertilizer kicked in so. yeah i think starting next week is when we're going to be probably getting everybody on the schedule and doing our mowing schedule mm -hmm. probably right yeah, maybe this afternoon after five we should go run over and do um, the vet because it's going to rain tomorrow and we're definitely not. Oh, never mind. We'll see. I doubt the vet grew any. Yeah. I mean, we mowed it and it got really cold after that. So. It did. I just was thinking more so like debris. They have river birches, river birch trees, and they shed, 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 shed. Like, why do they shed so much? 
I don't know, because it's a shetty kind of tree. I, I know, know, man. Like, there's, like, branches all over the place. I don't even know how there's still branches on the tree. It's like the oak trees drop branches everywhere, too, yeah. don't they? So somebody else is mowing, too. Where's yeah. that at? That's a sod field, I think. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no, it's not. It's somebody else in the development. Oh, somebody else mowing in development. Yeah, I think everybody's starting to mow around here. I'm sorry, you guys up there are still... I've seen some people doing a cleanup up there, and it's brown grass. Brown, brown, brown. With snow. Piles of snow. Yeah. But somebody <laughs> said, somebody commented that they were under a foot of snow still. I'm sorry. We ain't getting snow Spring is coming soon. Yeah. Spring is definitely coming soon for you guys, too. It just came I mean, a month early for us here. Yeah. So, yeah, we are like, um, everybody's saying that we're like at least three, two to three yeah. weeks ahead. And um, that's with everything. So unfortunately with this uh, frost that we just got, I think that probably our fruit farmers around here probably... Lost some of their stuff probably. Yeah. Now, and then we have another one coming this weekend. So. Because we're crazy. We brought like 12 pear trees in the house. And they're not little ones. They're in like 15 gallon buckets. And we brought. I took two a picture. Peach trees. I'll have Carl insert oh, a picture. Yeah. So took that our, you guys brought our two see. peach trees in. So all our fruit trees have been in the house for the last three days. Yeah. Um, growing flowers and leaves on them. I know. The so the pear trees, I saw the pear trees starting to like their buds were getting plumper and plumper. And I was telling Carl, I think that we should bring them in because I think that they're flowers. And sure enough, we brought them inside and you can now see them like starting to separate. So, oh my gosh, it's amazing. We're going to have so many. Yeah, because we don't, we don't want to lose anything. And I know. If they're in buckets, the we might as well It's the first year the pears are flowering. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. So yeah. and the, the new one we bought that we thought would cross, but it didn't flower this year, which mm -hmm. is weird because it's twice the size. Yeah, I know. But um, this is third year for these pear trees. And I ordered them off of... Fast growing, fast growing trees. trees, I think, or and they were <coughs> they were bare babies, root, right? Uh huh. Bare root babies. I got like super good deal on them. I think like ten dollars a piece. So I ended up ordering ten of them. So I am constantly watching, um, you know, for sales like that because, gosh, if you can get a tree, a fruit tree for ten dollars, yeah. I want cherry trees and yeah. plum trees eventually. Unfortunately, but... cherry trees don't get that low. No, cherry trees. The cheapest I can get a cherry tree for, again, bare root, probably only like two to three feet tall, um, probably like about forty to fifty bucks. So yeah, so we'll just wait on that one. Yeah. So let's get out and mow. I'll get you some. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, you know, three yeah. weeks early, everything. Yeah, our everything allergies. But the good thing is the freeze oh, kind of so dead in some of these pear tree flowers, the Bradfords. So Rachel's hoping to <laughs> kill the seeds off. Yeah, they don't I, I doubt it anymore, though, right? But I they probably it. need like a freeze yeah. to germinate or something. Yeah. So let's <laughs> so. get out and do some. All mowing. right, let's go. So everything's looking nice and green, as you can see. I do see a little bit of weeds in this. I definitely see some crabgrass already. Right there, a big chunk of crabgrass. Oh, wow. Um, another big chunks. So we'll have to be spraying this probably. Man, and we put his fertilizer Yeah, we put his there. down early. So what we're gonna end up doing is probably when we go to put the second round down, I'll just spot spray. I don't have to blanket spray as much as I used to because it's a lot less weeds in these lawns, but. It might work on an easier way for you to spray too. Yeah, hopefully, right?
Oh my goodness. to mow all this. So I'll set you guys up down there to watch Rachel. Wake up, brother, gonna rise in the sun. Step two, get some good, some food in you. Step three, you grow hard about what you want to be. Step four, fuck everybody just do your thing. Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up. 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 Today's gonna be a good day. Yeah. 
Set your affirmations, aspirations I got shit to do, the aftermath of preparation Good food, good mood, blood in circulation One step at a time, yeah that's how you make it Set a goal you control and the steps you take them I try to pick one thought, have some concentration And if I make a mistake, it's called education I try to do this every day, call it replication Wake up. Chilly out now. I'll get you in after this one. See what the finished cut looks like. I might have to come back here next week on weekly. Look at that. You guys remember this lawn three years ago? Remember when we lost half of this to army worms? This is now two years with Jonathan Greenseed. 